we're going to talk 10 hacks every producer needs to know right now. Listen guys, my name is SG1 from the Grammy Award winning team, The Peacemakers and Music Millionaires TV and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time to my channel, make sure that you go and push the subscribe button and then come back around, then come back around, then come back around and push the bell notification to be notified when we put out new videos. Now, every producer wants to know how they can better their craft and become better producers. However, we want to know what we're not doing or what we should be doing to make it better. Some people say this is just production tips. Some people call them production hacks. We're gonna go with production hacks because I'm gonna tell you some things that you might not have been thinking about. And I'm gonna tell you what you need to know in order to become a better producer inside of these 10 things that producers need to know. Riding on this tiny board, what? I board this tiny ship. Number one, do not ever, no matter how much you wanna do it, no matter how what you think is necessary, no matter how many hacks or bootlegged or whatever type of plugins you get, never overload your computer. Never get a bunch of plugins that you just don't use, guys. Having all these plugins for your computer only slows your processing speed down. It also makes for bad recording. It also makes the computer freeze up oftentimes because all of this stuff requires system memory. And when you load up your computer with a bunch of useless plugins, and when I say useless, I really mean that. Half of the plugins that's probably in your computer right now you've never even used or even know how to use or what they do. So why have all these things inside of your computers? Take out some of those damn plugins, guys. Use the ones that you need only and then upload and reinstall the ones that you might need later on. But do not have all these plugins inside of your damn computer slowing the damn computer down. It's just bad business. Ah. Number two, keep your projects in order. Real simple, guys. Keep your projects in order. Keep everything lined up in order so that way you know how to get to them, where they are, what to do. The worst thing that you can do when you're sitting here with a client or you're getting ready to work on your business is not know where your <laughs> It don't make sense, guys. You know what I mean? You're sitting here, you gotta scroll through your computer, constantly trying to find what I did with this particular project and where I did with this and where it's at and blah, blah, and dot, dot, and all I'm putting, and all I'm putting, and all I'm putting, then your head floats. Because you knew I thought I just possibly had it in the C location or this folder, but I'm not sure. Well, if you keep all your damn stuff in one folder and then categorize it like that, you'll definitely know where your music or your particular project is, leaving you a peace of mind knowing that I can just click and go to what I need to go to. Number three, create your own sound library. I know it sounds crazy, it goes without saying. However, having your own sound library makes sure that all the sounds and things that you need, all of your hi-hats, your, your specialized bass, your trembles, and everything that you love, guys, is in the right folder and you have it and you don't have to go look for it. So put together your own sound library so that you can have all your favorite sounds that you will be using and makes your music sound unique, which leads me to number four. Be unique and original. What I mean by be unique and original? Create your own sound. There is nothing better than being a producer that creates his own sound and or come up with his own rhythm or patterns or sound bank, which went back to number three. However, being unique is very pivotal in today's production world because this is what artists are looking for. This is what most producers get recognized for. you ever just wake up man do you like get up with all intentions of having a good day and then your child get on your last nerve because they think i'm joking remember timberland remember the neptunes remember pharrell all these different producers i just named or those particular producers i just named is known because of their unique sound and they created a unique sound that will forever be embedded into our hearts and minds as they've made music that will surpass the expire expiration of the music has the expiration of the delete gods. <laughs> I'm too old for this shit. Anyway, create, be creative. Make sure that you try your best to create your own sound. Create and, and play with the music, guys. Play with those music, play with your sounds. Take those particular instrumental sounds that you, you like and create your own style of music. Number five, practice. Most
most of you guys used to be in the band, just like myself. In the band, what were you constantly doing? Practicing. Why it is you don't do it now? Why don't you do it now? Why it is so hard for people to be constantly practicing and getting better at the craft? Always, guys, always, always told you, master your craft. Master your equipment, master your craft, but master, master, master. That requires you to be constantly lacing and putting down tracks. Even if you are a musician, if you're an artist, if you're a singer, you're a songwriter, whatever it is, always be practicing, always doing vocal coaching, excuse me, always vocal coach yourself, always try new things, always try new sound, try new rhythms, whatever it is that you do, master what you do by practicing it constantly, guys. It is so pivotal and so important that as you become better in the music game, and if you're already a veteran or a seasoned veteran, you know exactly what I'm saying, that the better you get and the more you put in the time and effort, the better you'll be. So always be practicing, guys. It's one of the most important things you can do to be one of those producers that we may work with. Six, collaborations. I've told you guys umpteen times, in my experience, what I saw and what I learned by working with Aftermath and working with Dr. Dre particularly, was he didn't depend on one particular artist. He didn't depend on one particular songwriter. Oftentimes, he teamed a lot of us up with other guys. We sat down with the Scott Storches of the world. We sat down with the Buster Rhymes of the world. We sat down with the rap and actors like Common. And we sat down and made beautiful music. See, the best music comes from collaborations because you have multiple minds on it. Think of it like a mad scientist, right? Or a bunch of mad scientists who are all coming together to bring about world peace. And they're trying to figure out how to do that right now. So, bad example. Just think though, all of the best technology in the world comes from a person's concept or idea and then they bring in the best of the best of the best and then these people sit down and they come up with different ways to make a product or a sound better Message. than it originally was. This comes from collaborations, guys. So stop being scared to reach out to other producers and collaborate. You'll be surprised what you guys will come up with. Now, while I have your attention, I got to tell you that this video is brought to you by Cloud Bounce. Save hundreds and even thousands of dollars mastering your music. I told you guys, mastering your music is one of the most important factors that you can be doing to your music. See, with a quick and easy drop and drag interface, you can let their AI technology work for you. And if you choose the unlimited plan, which if you're smart, you will, that by the way, is on special just for Music Millionaire subscribers, you can master an unlimited amount of your music or your client's music for one flat rate. Click the link in the description below because this special won't last long, guys. I promise you that. I'm up with seven. I don't even know what number I'm at now, but it's all right. Mix your music. I know it goes without saying, guys. I know this sounds crazy, and how is that a hack, SG? But it is. It's a production tip and hack. Mix your damn music. I get so many tracks from you guys and I can hear the potential in it, but it's not mixed properly. Things are way up here and levels are way up here and levels are down here and then this bass is too damn loud and, it's, and the bass is louder than the vocals and mix your damn music guys. Just real simple. Number eight I think, I don't know, maybe eight or nine, whatever it is. However, when you invest in your studio equipment, you're an investment into yourself. If you don't invest into yourself, which is your music, your studio, your equipment, then you are most likely not to take your music seriously because you have nothing invested into it. Now I'm a firm believer that you can start in the music industry with all the free material and tools that you can come up with. However, if you do not invest in yourself guys, you have nothing that you really or really forces you to put the effort in to make sure that you go all in with this thing that you call a music career. So invest in your music because investing in your music is investing in yourself, real simple. Insurance. I've said this plenty of times in other videos. Make sure to put insurance on your equipment. You know how many times I've talked to a lot of you guys who said that their equipment was either lost in a storm, somebody broke into your car, or something crazy. Oh, I was in the studio and I dropped it or someone bumped into to me while I was carrying my equipment from my car to my studio and I dropped it and I was just I had tens of thousands of sound banks and stuff inside of my my computer and I just love it's priceless. And you know, I don't have another thousand dollars to put back into a new machine or EPS or whatever you're using. Invest in yourself again by putting insurance on it, guys. It doesn't cost much to insure your equipment. What it does do though, it gives you a sense of security knowing that 
if you spent ten thousand dollars on your studio equipment and you don't have ten thousand dollars again because you might have gotten a loan from someone or or you just saved up your hard-earned money and bought it piece by piece why not insure your equipment guys it doesn't hurt to insure yourself just because of the things that are unforeseen the things that you don't know may or may not happen in your life so spend the damn money on some insurance guys now lastly this may be number 10 i don't know it might be 11 i don't know <laughs> but it's real simple don't be scared of your mistakes in all seriousness and i know i've been joking throughout this video don't be scared of your mistakes be willing to accept your mistakes because mistakes are growth. No matter what it is that you are or have made mistakes on, no matter what you went through in the past, accept that as a building block and a tool to become better. There is not one artist in this world that would not tell you that they learned from their mistakes and became better from it. Whether it came from friendships, whether it came from production fails, whether it came from singing fails, whether it's come from sounding horrible or writing a bad track or music, whatever it is, every artist in the world and anyone who has ever been in the music industry that is successful now or is a billionaire or a multi-millionaire will tell you that they've only been able to get there because they accepted their mistakes and they allow those mistakes once they accepted it to make them better at what they do. Message! Alright guys, this has been another Music Millionaires TV program with me. SG. Now guys, thank you for watching this particular video and I hope it helped you in some kind of way. And if it did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. That means the, the thumb part, the like button, okay? And make sure to subscribe if you're not already a subscriber of my channel. And don't forget to click the bell notification. I look forward to seeing you in the next video and also listening to some of you guys' great tracks. As always, music is life. We out.